I honestly don't. I need to look at what was what episode. Yeah, so I had to. I, I rewatched the ending of, of episode four last night because everyone was like, dude, the ending is Which sick. episode was that? It's the one where Max is about to be killed. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was that was a real good episode. Yeah. She, Sadie Sink is her name, I think. Yeah, Sadie Sink. Yep. Yeah. She was great. She's amazing. She Super that good. whole episode, yeah. Yeah, especially like especially rewatching the last like ten minutes. That was and, so. And intense. you remember that like prob I'm guessing probably I mean they they the Duffer brothers did say they tried to do as much as they could practically, but I'm guessing those tentacles around her neck weren't actually there. Yeah, so episode four uh was really cool. I'm glad they chose such a good song for the song they were gonna play snip itself in a bunch of episodes. Yeah. Is that is 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 that where some of the millions went? Is Kate Bush that expensive? She yeah. Running up looking. that hill is like they're like yeah, it'll be fifteen million dollars to use like that song per second of screen time. <laughs> Basic stuff. I really like the scenes where Hopper kind of bears all about himself in his past. David Harbour, classically trained actor, he's very good. Yeah. Uh, I'm enjoying the look into what is basically Levin's origin story. I'm really enjoying this because, as you know, I have like a gift for piecing out exactly what's going to happen and this one there were some like twists and turns that i really did not not that i didn't see something coming but that i didn't wasn't immediately like okay this is going to be like what it is because you know i have that gift there was something you said where i rolled my eyes so hard and then like then like two minutes later it was true and i was like (laughs) there's a couple more origin stories here and speaking of that after the episodes where the girls go to see victor krill i was thinking vecna kills people in sort of a dream-like sequence like freddy krueger and then I went, uh, oh, <laughs> no wonder they had Robert England play Victor. Then I realized I am dumb. So yeah, origin story, the other origin story. So the helpful orderly is one. One is Henry Creel and Henry Creel is Vecna. And he was the one that actually killed everyone from the first scene. That I didn't, I actually, I really thought that Eleven did kill everybody. I didn't even think well, you're that to. it wasn't until, right. No, no, I understand that, but like I said, I have a gift. And it wasn't until like the orderly was like, you know, number one did exist. And then in my mind, I was like, okay, he's number one. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, he's number one. And then I think you, you did say that you did say that out loud before it was revealed. I think when he asked her to take the thing out of his neck, you were like, oh, he's one. He's definitely one. I was like, oh, it's making him weaker. Why would why would he need to be made weaker? Still, even though I knew he was number one and I figured we were getting close to the Hawkins lab massacre scene, I didn't even, I still hadn't maybe made the connection yet that he was the one who perpetrates that. Yeah, I guess he also, so he also killed his mother and his sister and attempted to kill his father, but passed out in in 1959. And I still didn't make the, I never made the connection that. Yeah, we were both um, trying to figure out like how did Vecna. was 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 number one who is yeah. Vecna. We were trying to figure out how did Vecna kill people in the 50s. I was just and I was also just wondering how does Vecna fit into this? We, yeah, we both were. We literally said that out loud at some point. Because like, I feel like that's been my one critique of the show this whole time is like every season. We're still on the upside down, yes. But like sort of like the shifting bad guys. I've always wondered like you know, I mean, I guess we have the mind flare, so that's like the over, you know, the the overarching bad yeah, guy. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be the big bad. Yeah. Yeah, I've always wondered, like, okay, so we have a new baddie this season. Oh, it's still the upside down, but like, it's got to be. Yeah, I like that they're connecting everything together. I guess more. Yeah. I feel a stronger connection to how, like, or how it all fits together this season than than in the past seasons. But yeah, the uh, the stuff with his lore. That's kind of like where some issues come up with that stuff, right? So music saved Victor Creel, right? Right. But Henry, but who played Henry, the music? it was on the radio. That was established. He, tur- I think he turned the radio on to distract them, but then it ended up saving his dad. But that doesn't make sense because Henry didn't need to kill him in a vision like he does f- through the Upside Down as Vecna. It makes sense for Max and how he was, a- how it was able to pierce the illusion, but as a kid, he could just blow her head up in the room, which his dad was like two feet from him. But I think he was punishing his parents. Yes, but he'd already killed his mom. This was the moment where he was just taking them out. He was supposedly about to kill his dad, but the music saved him. 
Right. But he said he was in a weakened state. He didn't realize like how much energy it took out of him. And I still think that he had to like mess with your mind. I don't know. Kind of seemed like he just instantly killed his mom, but yeah, but at that, but she was the first one. So he was like fully energized with murderous yeah, okay. energy. Then another question. Okay. If he was in the process of trying to kill his father, how did he kill his sister? Well, maybe he was distracting his father with visions. It still kind of doesn't make sense to me that Victor discovered a weakness for Vecna and his illusions if he wasn't Vecna yet. He likes to torture people. Like bore into their minds, I guess. Yeah, I think I don't think it's something that he necessarily has to do. I think it is something that he enjoys doing. Maybe he does have to do it so he can like consume the person, but... Yeah, I also figured that he didn't try to kill Victor again, and Max for that matter, because once you escaped his attempt, he sort of lost his ability to easily get you again. But Probably, I, guess, I would assume that's why he hasn't come back for Max yet. I guess that's wrong, though, because he did say he was meaning to go back for his father, but he was too busy. And I guess he didn't go back for Max, because like, why would you bother when there's easier prey? Yeah, she knows like how to fight him off now, yeah. And plus, she had her, she had her, her walkman with her at all times after that, so... I do like that Vecna is killing those with painful memories because when he was human as the orderly, he did say that he knew someone powered by a painful memory. I'm guessing that was a memory of when he killed his mother and sister. Yeah, probably and tried to kill his father. Yeah. He also said whenever he kills someone, they remain in his mind. So when he's saying, I want you to join me, he means it. He's definitely trying to gain more power for his eventual second duel with Eleven. Right. Because he had just like, yeah, he had just like, cons- like consumed all the kids from the lab and she still beat him yeah so now he has to get like more painful memories from people to then beat her and so right. the realization of that was cool because i was wondering what the point of it all was yeah exactly and uh then it makes it seem like the kids were right when they were saying he was the five-star general of the mind flare so because he should be his strongest soldier by far i mean there's one more season after four so who knows but it'd be interesting if they create a more powerful fighter than vecna did the upside down exist before Eleven sent him into it? Because I almost, I almost wonder, is he the mind flayer? I don't think so, though. Yeah, but it's like what was in there before. Like something definitely turned him, though. When you see him go through the like the doorway, or that just happens. Like you think in season five, know. the mind flayer is going to be like someone from some previous CIA experiments or something. Or it's a character that already exists. I mean, there's four more hours of this season left, so we can get some more craziness. I mean, we've... Because, I mean, he's we already know, like, he's been in the Upside Down this whole time. Yeah. It's yeah. not like he just got there. Yeah, I was going to say, we like, uh, I doubt they did the video game trope where a, where a boss gets killed by a bigger boss or upstaged by one. They're probably saving that for season five. So this, right. There's got to be something bigger than Vecna. But he does seem incredibly strong. But I do need to know more about him. Because Henry Creel, the person he was, he's been in there for what, seven years? Yeah. From 79 to what? What's, what is it, like 86 now on the show? One thing I want them to explain is why wait this long to unleash him? But yeah, there's got to be some. I mean, if there's another season, there's got to be something bigger. Right. I would, yeah, I would say like the second half of the season, they destroy Vecna and then this season should, five Yeah, he should definitely be the strongest thing that she's ever had to fight. Yeah, what do you what do you think is going to happen in the in the other four hours that premiered July first? So I'm curious if Nancy is actually going to die. I think someone does. At I'm least, sure someone from the main cast. At least one. Die. I feel like at least one character has to has to go down. My guess is Steve. Though I also thought Steve too. Everyone's going to come back together. I don't know if there's time for the people that are in Utah to make it to Hawkins. Honestly. I don't see how like some big finale doesn't involve like Joyce and Hopper and everyone who's in Utah coming to Hawkins to like save the day. Then uh, the inevitable Vecna 11 showdown has to happen. I think even though it's four hours, it'd be tough to close all the story threads in this by the end. And well, some will be left dangling for the fifth and final season. I would uh, I'd recommend the season. We mostly binged it and I haven't felt like I didn't want to watch it. And as someone that doesn't binge for fun, that's a huge plus. It's a good time. The first sequence is rough. Yeah. The lab sequence. And they, and they trigger revisited, warning for like... I mean, they do show the trigger warning, and they revisit that sequence yeah. a bunch. Yeah, it's not like a one and done. But beyond that, it's an enjoyable watch. We'll see what happens in part two, July 1st.